we all know that MH370 disappeared last year on March 8th, one hour after uh, taking off. And uh, afterwards, what happened is totally a mystery. And it suddenly dawned on me that we can do some other simulations, such as aircraft water entry simulation. This could help us understand the physical mechanisms of the crash of MH370 that has not been investigated by other people. How an aircraft enters the water is very important because it decides how the aircraft disintegrates. The greatest mystery about MH370 is that no floating debris field have been found and this leads to a lot of conspiracy theories, but we actually have a more scientific answer to it. We perform five scenarios of simulation depending on the angle of water entry and the pitch angle. So without the use of supercomputing or supercomputers, the task is impossible. And the supercomputer absolutely helps. It gives us the necessary data. It provide, provides visualization, which are very hard to measure or to perform experiments under laboratory conditions. From the analysis of the forces and moments on the aircraft, we came to the conclusion that vertical water entry is probably the most plausible scenario because the force is a so-called compressive force. It is not a bending moment force, and therefore the fuselage would be less likely to break up, and therefore would not generate a large floating debris field. Therefore, the final ass assessment is that the vertical water entry seems to be the most plausible. But then, we we'll know that the final moments of MH370 will remain a mystery until someday we actually recover and decode the black box.